This is our C-47. It is huge. Yes, and this airplane has uh, been used extensively by the United States government as well as uh, uh, air forces in other countries like Great Britain, Belgium, France, and Israel. What did it carry? Did it carry anyone, just people? Did it carry missiles? This is really a cargo airplane. Mm -hmm. It was uh, made uh, identical to the uh, uh, Douglas DC-3, mm -hmm. which was a passenger aircraft. Mm -hmm. but, but this is really designed for paratroopers. So okay. instead of having seats that face forward, right. you'll see when we go on the inside, seats face sideways. Also, there are two doors on this airplane. Okay. One door is open now, right. but if the other oh. one were open, you can actually set up uh, some ramps and drive a Jeep in there. A Jeep is gonna fit in here? Yes. Okay. Would you like to go inside this airplane? I totally would. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So this, this, this airplane is, you can see from the seats on the side, mm -hmm. you sit sideways, but this is the cable where the paratroopers hook up their static line. And, um, and of course, they sit facing sideways. I'm gonna sit next to you, let's see. And these were their seat belts? Yes. And of course, they would have, uh, right now we're on a slant because mm -hmm. this airplane has a uh, conventional gear. It has a tailwinds tail wheel mm -hmm. so the plane kind of sits on an angle when it's on the ground of course when you're flying it's it's all horizontal and uh, as opposed to modern day planes that have a nose wheel uh -huh. so when you walk in the floor is flat <laughs> you're not walking up a hill with the seats folded away there is another door when that door is fully open and here I have a picture I'll show you you can actually put up uh, two ramps and uh, you can drive a Jeep in this airplane. A it, Jeep in here? Yes, it holds two Jeeps. Two for, Jeeps. You, you drive them all the way up to the front end and, uh, and that, that's where it works. You can even bring in a piece of military artillery, a gun, a howitzer. Well, I want to see more. What okay, we we'll go outside. This airplane is one of the last airplanes made by Republic, Fairchild Republic, in the 1970s. In fact, this airplane is still being used by the Air Force today. Really? It's called the A-110. Originally, they designated as being the Thunderbird II, mm -hmm. after the famous Thunderbolt plane that they had in the Second World War. This is the centerpiece of the airplane is this gun. Seven barrels fires a 30 millimeter shell and it fires at the rate of about 1400 rounds a minute. And how are the pilots protected? Oh, the pilot actually, he's well protected from ground fire because his entire cockpit is surrounded by titanium tub. Can I get this plane? Not really. Okay, we'll look for something else. <laughs> you, oh. you can't buy this one. Okay, what can we get? What about your favorite plane? Shall we go look at it? Yes. It's the F-105 Thunder Chief. <laughs> so this is your favorite plane? Yes, it is. Okay. And this 105 uh, Thunder Chief, made uh -huh. by Republic, has a Bombay, which I have my hand on here. Mm -hmm. And the Bombay was designed to actually carry an atomic weapon. This airplane, which flies at Mach 2.2, was actually designed to defend NATO countries from attack wow. by Iron Curtain countries. What else would you like to look at? How about the exhibits inside? Okay, we'll go inside and look at some other things. Okay. If you think this is all that we covered today, tune back in to the next episode of Did You Know for the finale of the American Air Power Museum visit. If you have any comments, cool facts, or suggestions for our next Did You Know segment, send us a note 
at info at patv.org.